Hi there, beautiful people. I'm back. Now, I want to state something. Like I said, I've been up on this spiritual journey every day of my life. I'm in my 50s, just close to being 60. Yeah. But, let me give a little forewarning to people out there. When you know me, and you know you have, told malicious lies about me, just outlandish, horrendous lies about me, your blessings will leave you and come to me. That's morning. That warning is for everybody that has purposely told lies about me. That's one and only warning I'm going to give you all. Your blessings have left you and will come to me when you knowingly tell lies about me. Think about that. Think about it. Think real hard about it, Wesley. Your blessings will leave you and come to me. As for Caitlin Payne also with APS, when you knowingly lie about me or my brother, my twin, your blessings will leave you and come to me. That goes for my aunt, Peggy Rogers, when you knowingly lie about me, your blessings are going to leave you and come to me. Y'all have lied about me so much. And that includes you too, Michelle. My younger brother, Wesley, his ex-wife, now his current girlfriend, Michelle. You have no lingo lied about me, too. And you know you have. Not one time have we ever sat down and talked. Not one time. But you have no lingo lied about me to other people. You have. So your blessings are going to leave you and come straight for me. And when people knowingly lie about me, this is anybody. Anybody. I am a open book. I have nothing to hide. Nothing. Not darn thing. I don't do illegal drugs. I don't do any prescription. Once in a while, occasional Benadryl. Still feeling drunky from it. Ooh. I don't drink at all. It's been like seven years since I even had a glass of wine. One, four sips off of a glass of wine. I am knocked the hell out. I, no, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I go in there and sleep until next morning. Off of four sips of wine. I just, I don't drink. I don't do any of that. I mind my own business, people. My own business. I keep to myself. I'm an introvert. I'm an empath. So I tend to keep to myself quite a bit. So these malicious lies that you're telling people about me, and you know it's malicious. It's premeditated. 
<laughs> you're, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're scheming, you're scheming. Because you, Wesley, are a criminal mastermind. The own psychiatrist said that about you. Yep, I ain't got time for it. I can see right through you. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad. Upset? Yeah, that's understandable. Mad, angry, just about ready to have a conniption. Nah. I was. I'm human. I don't like anybody lying about me. My reputation means a lot to me. A lot. And for people to smear my good name, keep my good name up out of your filthy mouths, people. Just stop. I don't have time for childish behavior on the schoolyard. I don't have time for it. I am too busy being an adult, living out here in this adult world, and paying my bills, keeping a roof up over my head, clothes on my back, food up on my table. And for people to still have that schoolyard behavior, it shows you the mentality of them and where they left off within their lifetime. So to have this schoolyard bully mentality, it shows you people where these people have left off within their mental capacity. My younger brother Wesley is acting like a 12 year old. So, in that gossip and malicious lies and outlandish lies, Texas size whoppers, let's call it what it is. For you to be lying like that, it shows you where you left off in your mentality at what age. That's something a 9, 10, 11, 12 year old pulls up on the schoolyard. And Miss Caitlin Payne from APS, it shows you your mentality too. When you can just not look into Wesley Long's previous record history and want to take everything at 100% of what he has said shows you your mentality also and everything I say up in my videos I'm not taking back I refuse to I'm not going to do it I refuse to I'm not gonna do it because at no time have I cussed anybody out I have, oh yeah, I've gotten mad and showed it up in my tone of voice and everything. Of course I have. Like I said, I'm human. But I'm not going to apologize for telling the truth about people. And this goes for this other family member, Peggy Rogers. It shows your mentality that you're hurt. That you still have that childish behavior of being hurt and trying to scheme the rest of the family up out of their share of what your mom was leaving everybody. You still hurt by it. And it shows in your mentality. And my brother, Wesley, gets that mentality from you, Peggy. He's doing the same thing. When he's still upset and hurt that my mom had left the property 
to my twin brother, and he has to make out these outlandish lies to Caitlin Payne at APS. It shows you you're having the same mentality because you're hurt. You're, you're hurt that your own mom didn't leave everything to you, Peggy. But you weren't the only family member, Peggy. You have a sister. You had a brother, my dad. There's grandchildren involved. So, Peggy, get over that mentality. You are not the only family member. There was a lot of other family members. You weren't the only child. And that goes for you too, Wesley. Get over your mentality of thinking that you were an only child and that you deserve everything. You don't. Piggy Rogers and Wesley Long, you're two peas in a pod. And Piggy, you know I've been trying to contact you between mail and phone, you're ignoring everything. God will get you. I believe that. I really, really do. 100%. But in the meantime, I'm allowed to talk about it. I'm allowed to state the honest truth. The honest truth. Not just you, but my dad was born first. Then came your older sister. Then came you. Peggy, you weren't the only child. I know you like to believe that, and that's why you want to hold on to everything. Because you're upset, you're hurt. It shows your childish mentality. It does. Just like with you, Wesley Long, that you can't get the property that it was left for my twin. It shows your childish mentality when you want to think that you're entitled to everything that was left up in the will. No, you're not. You were left a kitchen table and the four chairs. You were left a monitor. You were left a TV. You were left a e-machine and blah, 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 and, and printer and all cable and blah, blah, blah. Not entitled to it. Not entitled to that house. And I know it hurts you. But it shows your mentality. Anybody with half a brain can see through you, Peggy Rogers. Anybody with half a brain can see through you, Wesley Long. Think about it. Not pulling anybody. You're not. Your blessings will leave you and come to me now. Y'all have a good day now. Y'all come back now, you hear?